Now, y'all, this is Kansas Roman coming at you again with another reaction. Y'all damn right. <laughs> Guys and gals, skins and skinettes, whoever's watching, y'all, I hope that you're ready for this one, y'all. I know that I am. Mr. Ryan Upchurch has dropped a new video, y'all. This video was dropped about 10, 11 minutes ago, y'all. I'm excited to dive on and based off of the title, y'all, the name of this is called Clearing Some 615 Shit Up Real Quick. 100. Based off of uh, the video before this, guys and gals, I kind of know what uh, maybe this has something uh, to do uh, with. Uh, Johnny Cashville. Yeah, damn right. I'm going to go ahead and motherfucking say it. Johnny Cash, well, I think that this has something to do with his ass. You damn right. So, before we dive on in, you already know what I'm going to say. Please, 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 let me get one of these, one of these. Comment at the bottom. Let me know what you like. Also, hit that red bell and that red subscribe button so you know whenever I drop another video. You damn right. Now, let's dive on in. Let's get it now. Ha <laughs> ha. Johnny Cashville, what's up, you hoe-ass cracker? <laughs> I told you. <ya. laughs> I had a feeling. <laughs> You're damn right. <laughs> hey, man, let's, hey, let's, 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 let's restart this shit again. You're damn right. Say it again for us, bro. <laughs> Johnny Cashville, what's up, you hoe-ass cracker? I seen you been running your motherfucking mouth. Your motherfucking I don't know why. Mouth. Everybody in the Ville knows you a sissy-ass bitch. <laughs> you running your mouth is why I posted that video earlier. <laughs> Woo! Yo, for the record, so Johnny Cashville, he's talking to you. No one else, man. He's talking to you, dude. Nobody else, buddy. <laughs> Boy, I'm finna pull a Taylor Swift on these hoes. So there's a dude who is attached to my first three albums who keeps running his motherfucking Twinkie hole. And those... <laughs> That fucked me up, man. Boy, Johnny, you better... <laughs> Boy, you better stop running that Twinkie hole. <laughs> Golly. <laughs> Albums have been paying dudes bills for like seven fucking years. Even Woo! He's running his Twinkie hole. So as of tomorrow, those albums will not exist anymore. I'm going to take them down, and I'm going to pull a Taylor Swift... Woo. And I'm going to recut them and remaster them, and I'm going to put them back out. That Woo. way he... And you know them bitches is going to be fired. Not saying that the other ones wasn't. They were. But, well, you know these motherfuckers, these, these remix ones, boy, they about to be motherfucking heat. You're damn right! <laughs> and they ain't going to be connected to old fuck fucking, uh, what the fuck is his name? Uh, what we going to call him? I almost called him fuck boy, but uh, oh, he is one. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> what? Hold on. Uh, say it again, Ryan. <laughs> Take them down. And I'm. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, hold on. <laughs> motherfucking Twinkie Hole. And no. <laughs> Twinkie Hole? <laughs> Three albums have been paying. Twinkie Hole ain't gonna be motherfucking attached to these new fucking remixes. You're damn right. <laughs> Bills for like seven fucking years. You're broke, bro. You're broke. <laughs> when it comes to making money off of Ryan's music, bro, boy, you broke. <laughs> He's running his Twinkie hole. So as of tomorrow, those albums will not exist anymore. I'm going to take them down, and I'm going to pull a Taylor Swift, and I'm going to recut them and remaster them, and I'm going to put them back out. That Hell way he yeah. gets zero of church money from tomorrow on. See how that works? He's the reason for the teardrops on my guitar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. You're damn right. <laughs> you, motherfucker. And guess what? Them albums will be gone tomorrow. Woo. And your ass gonna be getting zero dollars a month. <laughs> what are you gonna do, buddy? Nice shit. Running around Nashville talking about, oh yeah, I'm the reason for Upchurch's success. You know, if it wasn't for me, Upchurch wasn't a motherfucker. Are wow. you stupid or something? 
I got I got here from ditching your ass. <laughs> Obviously, he fucking is, dude. Oh, I'm gonna just say this straight up for the record. This dude, fucking Johnny Cashville, was in a person's fucking panel defending him. This person, I'm gonna go ahead and say it, psycho fucking babble. Cashville in there defending this man, and this man is joking about gang banging a missing girl who is now dead. Johnny Cashville's defending that guy. Okay, this is just a, you know, we ain't even, you know, gotten into the rest of this video. I'm just saying. Cashville, you're weird, dog. You're fucking weird. You're damn right. You don't know shit about shit. You dumb as fuck. Everybody around here knows it. I can't think of one person who, who has respect for you in the 615. You dumb as fuck. You know why? Because there ain't nobody. You fucking Instagram selfies with your goddamn Harley you could barely ride ain't scaring nobody. You holding a fucking AR-15 like somebody who's never held one in their fucking life ain't scaring nobody. Right. You know why? Because you ain't scary, motherfucker. Ooh, Talking about, oh, I'm a... Oh, shit. Say it again, bo. Say it again, because this is some real motherfucking shit. No neck having ass. <laughs> shit. No shit about shit. You dumb as fuck. Everybody around here knows it. I can't think of one person who, who has respect for you in the 615. Man. You know why? Because there ain't nobody. You fucking Instagram selfies with your goddamn Harley you could barely ride ain't scaring nobody. <laughs> You holding a fucking AR-15 like somebody who's never held one in their fucking life ain't scaring nobody. You know why? Because you ain't scary, motherfucker. Oh, Talking shit. about, oh, I'm a good manager. I'm a good manager. No, you're not, you stupid fuck. Ooh. No, the first time I ever went to a studio with you was in a goddamn trap house where somebody was selling drugs out of it the whole motherfucking shit. time. Oh, for track. Bubba. <laughs> I think it's I think it's time to cut ties, bro. <laughs> I'm sitting there fucking nervous as shit, young as hell. Oh, four track. I would not let this man manage me, dog. I'm just saying. Trying to record some shit while motherfucking dope heads come in and out and out and out and out and out and out buying drugs. Hell, man. one day I was outside my Tahoe, had Kane Brown in the back fucking seat, and yo ass got shot at. That was back Damn. when I had that blue Tahoe. Did I drive away like a hoe? No, nah, I sat there and waited for yo ass to get to the fucking vehicle. Wow. Say I'm lying, motherfucker. I'll call the dude who shot at you that wow. day. And I'll get him to tell everybody. Speaking Ooh. of beat. <laughs> lay it down, lay it down, lay it down. <laughs> Cashville. Ooh. You got some explaining to do. <laughs> fucking manager, you ain't no motherfucking manager. <coughs> Yo, 50 50 deal or 50 percent, 50 percent? Nah, it's really like 90 10. Because the whole time I did this 50 50 thing with your dumb ass, who was paying for all this shit? Mm. Me. Uh -oh. Who's supposed to pay for that shit? You, motherfucker. Uh oh. So really, I was getting nothing. Man. A manager I didn't fucking need. I was doing the, I was doing these shows, gas on me, food on me, hotels on me. See, and 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 I knew from the fucking jump. Ever since I uh, seen that dude on social media, man, he rubbed me the wrong way. He rubbed me the fucking wrong way. It was something fucking about this dude that. I mean, dude, talk shit on Adam, talk shit on fucking a lot of people, man, in my motherfucking DMs, and <laughs> fuck the bullshit, man. It finally came out. The true motherfucker, all this shit that we're hearing, this is Johnny fuck Cashville. This is why I don't fuck with him. This is why I never really fucked with him. I never really fucking, uh, 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 you know, supported him because it's something schemy about the fucking dude, man. It's something schemy about the dude, and he's saying it right now. That 
what he's just saying. Let's say, let's say it again, Bubba. This is scheming. If somebody, artists, if somebody's trying to manage you and they're doing this shit, run away. Run away from a motherfucker like Johnny bitch ass Cashville. Manager, you ain't no motherfucking manager. Yo, 50 50 deal or 50 percent, 50 percent. Nah, it's really like 90 10. Because mm. the whole time I did this 50 50 thing with your dumb ass, mm. who was paying for all this shit? Mm. Me. Who's supposed to pay for that shit? You motherfucker. Woo. So really, I was getting nothing. I had a manager I didn't fucking need. I was doing, the, I was doing these shows. Gas on me, food on me, hotels on me, Man. equipment on me, everything on me. So what was left for me was fucking nothing. Man. Yeah, you want to know the real beginning of Upchurch, motherfucker? You're getting it right now. Or what about when I saved my money up when I was getting 90-10 with your ass, pretty much? 90-10? Y'all, fuck Johnny Cashville, y'all. He ain't nothing but a scheme. He ain't nothing but a gamer. He ain't nothing but a motherfucker that that's just after your pockets. He don't give a shit. And it's obvious. The man ain't managing Ryan, bro. He ain't managing one of the hottest motherfucking artists on the planet. Hmm. Hmm. Well, for a track, you ain't got to listen to nobody. But I, I, I think that you should look for a, another guy. But you do you, man. You know what I'm saying? It ain't coming from me. It's coming from him. You know what I'm saying? Not me. Him. The guy that's been through all the shit with the motherfucker that you're fucking with. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. You're damn right. <laughs> and anybody else. That this motherfucker tries to approach with some bullshit. 90, 10? Dog, and, and he got to pay for everything? Oh, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. He's a, he's a scammer. He's a schemer. He after your pockets. He don't care about you. It's a front. It's bullshit. There's a thing called uh, uh, discernment, man. And, I, and, and, and my discernment level, man, is, 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 out, is on a different level, man, whenever it comes to... And sometimes you don't even need discernment. Sometimes motherfuckers tell on themselves they weird. Johnny, fuck cash bill. You know, 50-50, I bought all this motherfucking Yamaha equipment, Yamaha speakers, I bought myself a mic, a pop filter, all that shit. Then guess what? The spot that you orchestrated that we record at I put all my new shit in there that I fucking bought with my own money. And then what? Y'all motherfuckers try to tell me, oh man, the studio got robbed. All right, well, the front glass of the fucking place wasn't busted out, so who the fuck had a key to go in there, ho wow. ass cracker? It was you and one of your homies. Now what? Wow, what, what I say? Scheming and scamming, stealing and dealing, fucking around, man. You can't do it the right way, can you, Johnny? You just got to be just scheming. Man, what the fuck? That's crazy. What else do you make a key it's for, dumb dumb? Oh, days of our lives, ass motherfucker. <laughs> I remember when I remember when it first happened. I, I pull up to I pull up in the hood over there in fucking Bordeaux, out front of the chicken spot. And you outside going, man, it's a tragedy. Man, dude, who could have done this, dude? I walk in, there's a there's a plasma screen TV that's not broke, laid on wow. the ground. Wow. Uh, some magazines thrown everywhere. Uh, a coffee table flipped over. But none of the flat screens or nothing was stolen. Just my studio equipment. No, yeah. what it was, was you thought I was stupid because I was country as fuck. That's what it was. Yep. Yep. And while we're at it, why don't we just... And, 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 that, and, that, and, that, and that's a lot of motherfuckers out there, man. They think they're motherfuckers just because they're from the country, you know? And, and 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 they and they you know they look a certain way or they talk a certain way that they're fucking dumb, and that's not the fucking case. Those are probably some of the smartest motherfuckers out there. Johnny, fuck Cashville. 
about all this shit you always talking, but not backing up nowhere. Uh oh. Back then you was always uh -oh. being like, yeah, everybody cool with me. Everybody scared of me. They know what's up. They know what's up. Scared? <laughs> Scared? <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> All the rappers in Nashville know I'm not fucking bullshitting because they know you, motherfucker. Woo. You was the kid with the nice house and the nice family and everything's good and there's banana pudding <laughs> on the goddamn table Damn. after dinner. That was you, motherfucker. You could tell. That was you. You could tell. You wanted to be jelly. You wanted to be shrug. Woo. You wanted to be haystack. Woo. First three years of my career. And you're not, buddy. You're not. <laughs> it never will be. <laughs> what your ass do? All you did was tell me, oh, Jelly don't like you. Oh, Strug don't fuck with wow. you. Man, he's stacking all them don't like you that much. Wow. You was fucking lying, dog. Where the fuck you hanging out with them at? Wow. Nowhere, motherfucker. You wanted to be cool like them. You wanted to be gangster like them. But guess what? You was not either one of those. You still ain't one of those. You never have been one of those. Speak your shit, boss. Your ass didn't want me hanging out with them because you knew for a fucking fact they was going to tell me that you was a real ass sissy in real life. Ooh. And you knew that I fit in their group more than your motherfucker. Woo! What you going to... Woo! <laughs> Ooh, boy. Reading it out like a book. You're damn right. <laughs> at this point in this video, lean back and go, ah, 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 ah. And hack your brains out for 20 motherfucking minutes, you out of shape piece of shit. What are you gonna do? Say, oh, you ain't like that, you ain't like that. Won't you ask Strug? Won't you ask Jelly? Won't mm. you ask Adam Calhoun, motherfucker? Mm. Mm. Last time we was all mm. hanging out when somebody said, oh, yeah, so and so finna come by and fuck, he said he's got a gun. Ask them who the first motherfucker was to pull out a motherfucking gun and cock that bitch. Uh -oh. Me, motherfucker. Uh -oh. What would you have done? Uh -oh. oh, dude, this is crazy. This <laughs> is crazy. And you done walked your fat ass. Oh, dude, this is crazy. <laughs> That's exactly what the fuck his ass would do. <laughs> That's fucking Johnny's bitch ass, man. <laughs> fucking this dude right here, man. Cashville is fucking dumb as fuck, dude. Bitch, me, motherfucker. What would you have done? Oh, dude, this is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. And you done walked your fat ass in a building somewhere. When you hide. your mouth about Adam Calhoun, what'd you do? Crickets. Yup. Crickets. That's it. Crickets. That's another person you tried to make me think didn't like me. And then after all that beef and shit you did with Adam, and Adam's like, hey, I'm coming down to record a song with someone. I imagine y'all if 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 Ryan would have believed his dumb fucking ass and never fucking hit up Adam or would never, you know, you know, built that relationship with him. We I feel like we may we we may not have had uh uh Adam, man. Because when Adam went over there to Ryan's house and was hanging out with him and seeing, you know, uh, Ryan, you know, record this shit and Adam's over there writing in his book. You know, Ryan's like, what the, what the fuck are you doing over there? He's like, ah, nah, you know, just, just write and do my thing, you know what I mean? Just, you, know, you rap? He's like, yeah, yeah, I used to back in the day, you know what I mean? Shit, you know? But that, that shit would have never happened. We never had the, the, the rebirth of uh, Adam Calhoun. It is crazy to think that bitch ass fucking Johnny Cashville was the guy who was trying to fuck it up. Fuck you, Johnny Cashville, dog. And that's just 100. Fuck you, Johnny. You're damn right. 100%, son. Thing. I said, bro, if you need anything, let me know. I told Adam, I said, I would not fucking trust nobody in that motherfucking circle. Hell yeah. Ask him. Then look what happened. Dude shows up to fight Adam, and your ass is in the back seat fucking recording like a little yep, hoe. Yep. By the way, you talked all kind of shit about Nash Villain. You're scared of Nash Villain, motherfucker. I know you are. Even that one time we was chilling outside your motherfucking house. I didn't even know who the hell dude was. He called. He's scared. <laughs> Scary. <laughs> hey, I'm swinging through. And you, when you got off the phone, you said, man, what's he coming over here for? I mean, what, what's, he, what's, he want me, what's he want to come over here for? What's he going to tell me? You scared as fuck. And you should be. Nash villain crazy. Nash villain will smack the fuck out of you. Everybody you talk bad about <laughs> ain't scared of your ass. You and your unbelievable dumb fucking stories that nobody believes. None. Just like the time you called me, he's like, hey, guess what I just did? I punked out book. I punked out young book at the car wash. No the <laughs> 
He, Johnny, you punked out young buck? <laughs> you did? You didn't, dude. You did not fucking punk out Young Buck. If Young Buck will throw hands with Star Lido, he will definitely throw hands with Joe ass. You're damn right. If Young Buck will beef with Cook Up's crazy ass, he gonna beef. Then he with definitely you. ain't got a problem smacking you. So Johnny Cashville, <laughs> you ain't. I hope he does. I hope somebody smacked the dog shit out of this man. None of my songs. You ain't never been about shit. You ain't never gonna be about shit. You mm. didn't get me to where I'm at today. Mm. You ain't respected by anybody in the fucking 615. Uh. And I don't want to hear you speaking for me ever again. Ooh. Yeah, I'm taking the music away from you. You ain't getting none of that number. Yep. But let me tell you something, motherfucker. If I hear one more fucking word come out of your mouth about up church. Yeah, and if I hear it either. You ain't going to have nobody standing around you. Because <laughs> if I hear it, I'm sending it to them. You're damn right. Because the next video is going to be bad, bad. Ooh, Real bad. Shit. Do you want to find out how bad? <laughs> if you want to find out how bad my next video is going to be, won't you fucking say something about me one more motherfucking time? Ooh, shit. Go ahead. Do it. I want you to. 615, motherfucker. Ooh, shit. Johnny. I highly suggest that you keep Ryan's name out of your mouth <laughs> because <laughs> Bo, <laughs> you done fucked up. You done fucked up. I just, just stay off, stay off the internet. You know, don't say nothing. Don't say no more. My man ain't fucking playing. <laughs> oh, man. So, there you have it, guys and gals. Skins and skinettes. Everybody who's watching. Everybody who was like, man, what the fuck, man? What the fuck is he talking about? Who the hell is he talking about? What the fuck did Johnny say? What the fuck did Johnny say? There you go. Here you are. Here's the answer. Straight from the goat's mouth. you damn right. The king's mouth. Y'all, guys and gals, you already know what I'm going to say. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching this reaction and watching my videos and subscribing, watching everything. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Y'all, stay up, stay safe, stay positive thinking, and stay positive speaking. I love you, Creek Squad. You're damn right.